All right, here we are back in Call of the Wild, and we are on Hirschfelden. Uh, that's right, we're at Hirschfelden. Not my favorite map in the least, but True Rack Road Deer just came out. And although we don't have the DLC for the high tech pack on console yet, they did release the patch today. And we got True Rack Road Deer and all the little bug fixes and kind of goodies that came along with it, which. In all actuality, guys, I I'm going to say that I kind of like the things they fixed in this patch. Um, A, we had the sun and the moon back, which I don't know if you noticed, but for the past couple months, they've been missing in the game. If you look up in the sky, there's been no sun and no moon. So that's back. They fixed that. Um, the red deer. The red deer no longer sound like elk. Yes, finally. That's been something that's just been more of an annoyance than anything I mean it doesn't affect the gameplay it doesn't break the game or anything like that but uh and they've also done something to the 30 yard six which is something that a lot of people have been wanting um me personally it didn't really matter to me I don't hunt in real life so I really don't care but uh the 30 yard six now gives integrity on whitetail and it also gives integrity on boar so pretty much Anything that the 270 gave integrity on, the 30S6 also gives integrity on. But don't worry because they actually didn't nerf it. It's not nerfed. Um, it still works great on caribou. It still works great on red deer. It'll still bring down the puma and all that. So now that I'm done uh, talking, let's try to find some male roe deer and uh, see what these true lack. True Rex look like, shall we? Alright, so I decided to get up to one of my favorite spots and I have a uh, tripod here. There's a female, that's not what we want. Hopefully we'll find a couple bucks. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on it because this is Hirschfeld after all. And it's not always the most cooperative of maps. female right there so the road here definitely moving in all we gotta do is hope that a a buck will wander in here this is usually a really good spot oh there's a road deer. there's a buck right there he's a small one he's a one trivial but I can already see the difference in those true X so we're actually rocking to 243 today I thought I'd bring that out um okay that was Pretty powerful. Right, so I'm not going to bother trying to call anything else in. So uh, let's just go down and pick him up and see what he looks like. Right, so there he is. That's our first true wreck road deer. Let's pick him up. Okay. I like that. I actually like that a lot. Those actually look pretty damn good they got good mass to them they're uh they're definitely not symmetrical yeah all right i like that a lot good job ew let's see if we can't find another one shall we maybe a bigger one there we go you're just gonna lay right down aren't you So now we got a two minor out there, so he's definitely bigger than the last one. And you can you can really see the difference in the racks, and I'm really liking it. Come on, turn broadside for me, buddy. Ah, uh, good enough. There was a female over there. She's taking off. There was a fellow buck over there too. He took off. Alright, so let's go pick this one up and see what this one looks like. I said, that looks, I like that one. That one looks really good. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks really good. Again, it's not symmetrical at all. Look at that. 
Oh, wow. Sounds like one's got like that little, uh, tine or barb or something coming off the back of it like that. Okay, I, I like that a lot. You know, the funny thing is, is that it's a roe deer. You know, I mean, it's like really how impressive can a roe deer antler be, but I'm actually liking these. I mean, this is actually giving me a reason to want to hunt roe deer more and see what these look like. And clearly you can see, look at that. There's like a two inch difference on each one of those. That's ridiculous. That looks really good. I really like that. I'm, I'm really surprised. Great job, EW. Really good. I, I like these a lot. Matter of fact, these, uh, I think I'm going to put him on my lodge. He's going to be my first true rack road deer. That's going to go on my lodge. Yeah, I like that a lot. Alright guys, so no, I don't have the high-tech hunting pack. I don't have nighttime goggles, but I picked up a pretty decent track on a boar and it led me to a need zone that they have and the need zone starts like 3 a.m. To, to 7 a.m. So I figured this would be a perfect chance to try the new 30-06. Well, new. Not the new 30-06, but um, since the update the 3 stick should hold integrity on these wild boar. If I could just find that big one. There he is. There he is, a 4 easy. So I've got the 30 out 6. Goodness, that's <laughs> that's some power. That is some power right there. Okay, so there you go. Put another shot at him just because I don't want to. I don't want to track him. <laughs> Try to Texas hard shot there, but I guess it doesn't quite have that penetration. So. Let's go pick up this uh, level 4 wild boar here and see if it holds integrity. There we go. 100%. 100% integrity in a wild boar with the 30 out 6. And I mean, it, it seems pretty overpowered for things like boar and even whitetail. Um, I did try it on whitetail. And, uh, yeah, it seems like it's it's really overpowered for him. But it gives integrity. That's what everybody wanted. And, uh, yeah, EW definitely delivered. All right, so what we're going to do now is that we have the 30 out 6 on us. And we are going to test it out on Whitetail. I kind of just want to get it on video showing that it does indeed... And there he goes. That's alright. What we'll do is we'll give this tree stand here, we'll call him back in. And I'll show off that integrity. Alright, so there he is right there. Take the sight off. And that's it. He's down. So we're going to just hop right down. And we're going to pick him up and see what happens. And there you go. 30 out 6. 100% integrity. And he went down like a sack of potatoes, actually. I mean, that was double lung and he just went right down. Again, like I say, I feel it's... A little overpowered for these but uh I totally get why they did it you know I get that it's a really popular gun for hunting whitetail and uh yeah so good job EW and I mean this is the first time that they've listened to the community 
for what we've wanted. Okay, guys, so I think that's where we're probably going to wrap the video up here. Um, I may just, after this, put in some footage of, of me taking out, like, uh, some caribou and stuff, just to show that 30 out of 6 hasn't lost any power whatsoever. So, smash that like button, and hit subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Later.